I'm Michael Myers. I'm taking a bit of a step in this week. Welcome to our Halloween update where today we're going to be looking at Twin Lakes Extreme Screen Park 2020. We're going to be looking at the brand new maze that's been announced for 2020. We've got no full details on this maze yet, but we do have details on the mazes returning. And it includes one maze that isn't returning for the first time since 2014. Now, before we get started guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. I think it will make Coach Shell very, very happy. Make sure you guys um, share the channel around with your friends, your family, social media. And make sure you have a spectacular day. And let's get into talking about... Um, Extreme Screen Park 2020, some first details on the mazes on site. Also guys, make sure you go into the description down below, you can subscribe to Coaster Charles' TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, his second channel about sports journalism, and uh, yeah, let's go into all the details from Twin Lakes Extreme Screen Park 2020. One of the first returning mazes for 2020 will be Ash Hill Penitentiary. In 1609, a prison was built like no other. It was specifically designed to house and rehabilitate the criminally insane, in particular inmates with cannibal tendencies. The people of Leicestershire, Nottinghamshire and Rutland have been previously locked insane cannibal family members in secret attics and cellars to avoid public interference. They are fed up on the homeless community. The local people became fearful as cannibalism spread and the Duke and Duchess of Eton convinced the Lord Mayor of Thrussington to remove these fleshy, thirsty individuals from towns and countries. Now, by 1610, cannibalism had become acceptable human behaviour inside Ash Hill Penitentiary and victims were brought from flesh markets and secretly smuggled in to feed the primitive inmates. The disposal of bones was a problem. The flesh-eating duke began extending his empire, burying the butchered human bones in the walls. Now, of course, with this particular attraction, you had some new animatronics for the 2019 season. And, uh, yeah, this one's definitely going to come back for this year. And it's looking very exciting indeed. Another maze with new animatronics last year and coming back for another year is Hoodoo Voodoo. And it was a particular favourite of many different people. The voodooists and worshippers of Marie Laval, the most desired voodoo queen from New Orleans, had advertised an event to the public promoting cleansing, enrichment and purity of the mind. The voodooists evaluate those attending their ritual. Only one body will be chosen to host the soul of Marie Laval and live forever in the spiritual world. Since attending the rituals, few have begun since since with the Moes managing to escape Hoodoo Voodoo being left in pits of despair, broken, tormented and suffering. It's been rumoured that the Voodooists have been falsely luring innocence into the attraction, looking for a host for Marie Laval's spirit. She will rise again in human form using disregarded souls and sacrifices, offering them to the gods. These sacrifices have throughout history pleased the gods, preventing disaster and devastation to the Voodoo tribes. Marie Laval will rise again. So this one was a particular favourite. Again, brand new animatronics for the 2019 season. Operates this season in 2020. And uh, yeah, very exciting stuff. There was a particular favourite and the theme looks incredible. So uh, very good there. Our third returning maze is the Pie Factory. Featuring Mama Hog's Chop Shop. Again, new animatronics introduced back in 2019 for this maze. And this... Pie Factory in Melton Mowbray locally sources only the best prime cuts of meat to produce 100% man-made pies. Step inside the doors and make your way through the 2,000 square foot complex to discover the gruesome process that goes into making these world famous pies. Duck, dodge and squeeze your way around the 15 uniquely themed zones as you head through Melton Mowbray's very own production line. Going behind the scenes and finding out firsthand what goes into Melton Mowbray's finest Mrs. Mama Hog, though, has been changing the ingredients in the pies recently and is now making humans into pies. Do you dare and come to the pie factory and see how they're made? Be careful, though, you might be next. So the pie factory, again, particularly great attraction uh, with the reviews it got last year. Uh, very good stuff there. And, uh, yeah, the theme. I mean, I've done something similar to this called the Meat Locker. 
at York Mace Hollow Scream event, and that was a really good theme. It was pretty similar to this with the slaughterhouse kind of theme, and you know, trying to chop people up and you know, human, you know, meat locker and stuff like that. And you know, it was a very good attraction, very good theme. I know this. I know I've seen reviews of this attraction. And I know there's been a lot of good reviews about the theming and the, the effects and things like that. So, under COVID restrictions, it'd be interesting to see what kind of jump scares they bring to this attraction. Again, new animatronics for last year in 2019. And, uh, yeah, very exciting stuff there. One of the unchanged mazes, there the, the wasn't adding any effects for it from last year. And is coming back with a kind of like a, a bit of a, well, the same attitude pretty much. It is the village, which is again, another particular favorite. So uh, there's no surprise that nothing's really changed with this one. During the year of 1974, throughout the land, there have been an increase in farmland pests, threatening the crops in order to sustain the human race and agency backed Professor Crow, granting him large sums of money to create genetically modified scarecrows to effectively deal with the problem. These scarecrows were to be designed with the ability to scare off any unwanted visitors. Professor Crow conducted research into mixing scarecrows with human living tissue and embryos and eventually he reached his success. His creation, the perfect scarecrow, had been born. Professor Crow wanted more. He craved the ultimate intellectual hybrid. The human brain would be the only option and so it began. Now. The village sounds amazing. It's been getting great reviews over the last couple of years. And, you know, the village, I, 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 I won't expect much changes with that. I think that, again, it'll just stick to the restrictions that's been put in place for COVID. And, you know, I think the village will just continue to operate like it did in past years under these restrictions as well. There is a brand new maze for 2020. Now, it's called Belvoir Manors. There is no description as of yet. Um, it just says, full details are coming soon. New for 2020. Hashtag, if you dare. And of course, there's no mention on the website of the Stilton Hotel Hall and Spa. So that says to us that this maze is set to be replacing Stilton Hotel. That was introduced back in 2014 and uh, last operated in 2019. So it looks very likely that this has been replaced by the brand new uh, Belvoir Manors. It looks very interesting. It should be interesting to see what kind of theme it is and what kind of stories behind this maze. And of course, we will do a separate update giving you the story of the brand new maze for 2020. So, there we go then, guys. So, on behalf of Coaster Chow, I want to say thank you for letting Michael Myers deliver you the brand new news that Twin Lakes Extreme Screen Park is going ahead in 2020 and uh, with a brand new maze that looks to be replacing Stilton Hotel Hall and Spa. Uh, very exciting stuff there and very exciting all round with the lineup. Good mazes returning the village. Mama Hog's Chop Shop with the, the Pie Factory. Um, and also the return of Hoodoo Voodoo. That's always great. And Ashville Penitentiary coming back as well. So five maids again this year, just like last year. And uh, just Stilton Hotel Hall and Spa replaced in the lineup by Belvoir Manors. Again, no description for that at the minute. But unfortunately, well, hopefully we're going to give you that uh, detail uh, as soon as possible. But... For now, guys, I'm going to share my thoughts quickly, and I think this is a great looking event. I think it'd be fantastic to head to this event. You know, the local ones to me are all, you know, they're off, they're not happening. Uh, York Mace Hollow Scream, that's not happening now. Um, that'll be coming back in 2021. The Hello Tween, now we vlogged both of them last year. Well, Coach Child vlogged them last year, and, you know, we he vlogged them last year. They did Hello Scream, and they also did Hello Tween. Um, which was the sort of toned down where there was no actors inside the houses and they're actually, I believe, introducing the meat locker into um, into the lineup for Halloween this year. I'm not too sure about that. So uh, it could be more mazes open for Halloween to make up for no Halloween Scream event this year. Um, and of course, you know, w Wakefield Yorkshire Scareground, that's not happening this year. So... I'm sure Coast Child will want to, you know, get out there a little bit more and go to somewhere like Scarefest or somewhere like this in Twin Lakes. That would be a good event to go to for him. And, uh, yeah, there's some other great events out there he wants to get to. So, uh, hopefully it all works out for him. But, this is definitely an event that's high on his bucket list. He did tell me before he did leave today. Because uh, he was too busy to do today's video. So, he asked, you know, Michael Myers to come out of prison and do these videos. But, um... I definitely think that Twin Lakes Extreme Screen Park will be high on his list. 
Uh, and, you know, the new maze is definitely very exciting. The returning maze are definitely exciting. And, you know, if you just stay safe, like everyone else, stay safe, stay social distance, stay with the rules, then it will be a good season for them. So, uh, very exciting stuff from Twin Lakes Extreme Screen Park 2020. Thank you so, so much, guys, for watching this Halloween update. My name is Michael Myers. Coach Chow will be back for the second Halloween update today from Trusting to World of Adventures Resort. But for now, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm Michael Myers. Keep living the coaster life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon when Coaster Charlie's here doing it himself. Thank you very much. Have an awesome day. Ooh.